Hello Quillers! When I was a wee lass, I liked picture books a whole bunch. I liked the stories, the imagination, the illustrations. I had my favourites, and while I may not remember every aspect of every plot, there were always elements that stuck with me, tickling at the back of my mind. Now while it's frustrating to me that I can often only remember puzzle pieces and not the entire picture, it's nowhere near how I felt when I was little, and I couldn't wrap my head around something in a book. I'm going to give you three examples of things in books that stumped me when I was young, and I didn't like it. The first book was Where's Wally? and all the rest of them. I have the travel edition now, but of course when I was little I had the big ones. I loved these because they were just chock full of easter eggs. If I wasn't looking for Wally, I had delighted in looking for the scrolls, the camera, and of course in Where's Wally now there were always the different coloured books that you had to find in each scene. But the problem I had with this book was scenes like this, where there wasn't just one Wally, there were hundreds, and you were supposed to find the real one amongst all of them. What? To this day, I still don't know which is the real Wally, but I am gradually getting over it. Gradually. The next book was The Beginner's Bible. This is how I learned all about the Bible. And you might be thinking, Okay, so one of the things that stumped you was a story in here that just didn't go into much detail and you were confused. But no! Oh no, it's so much worse than that. Or better, depending on your perspective. I got to the end of this book, spoilers, and it said, Then John saw an open door in heaven. He saw God's throne with a rainbow around it. So I was five years old, sitting in bed, and I would just stare at this picture of God, trying to figure out what God looked like from his silhouette. Now last but not least is a series of books which I do not own because they came from a library at my school, which is in Saudi Arabia. Now these books were all about Max, who was a Manx cat, who left home in search of his missing tail. Now this cat travelled the world, just looking for his tail. He'd find a tail, but then it would turn out to be someone else's, and he would just keep going, searching for the tail that he didn't have. And I remember I was so frustrated, because all this little kitty wanted was to find his missing tail. And each book would end, no tail. Another book would end, still no tail. I was like... When's this cat gonna find his missing tail? I never did find out what happened to Max, who left his home and traveled the globe. Four continents he crossed. No tail. So, those are my three examples of books that stumped me when I was a kid. Let me know if you have any similar stories, because it would make me feel so much better. <laughs> yeah. He saw too that Wallys often lose things, for he himself had lost one shoe. The real Wally doesn't have a shoe?